Hi, my name is Scott Newlis, and I'm a solution engineer here on our natural resources team at Esri. And today I want to provide a brief overview of ArcGIS Workforce in the context of pipeline operations. Workforce is a project-based app within the ArcGIS system that allows you to manage and assign tasks to field workers to complete. Workforce is comprised of two different components. Here we see a web application that's primarily intended for back office personnel. And then in a minute, we'll take a look at the mobile app for field workers. Here within the web application, dispatchers can create and manage tasks and assignments for those field workers. So over here on the right hand side, we see a map that represents the locations of all of our existing assignments, along with other contextual layers for reference coming from our GIS system. And then over here on the left hand side, I see a list of all of my assignments that have already been created. And each assignment contains information about the type of work that needs to be done, the location of that assignment, along with a priority, a due date, and any other descriptive information. And these assignments are tasked or assigned to specific field workers that have been added to this project. So I can manage all of the workers that are a part of my project that will be doing this work out in the field. And I can see information about their status, their workload, and even contact information. Back here on the assignments pane, I can see all of the pre-created assignments that are already existing within this project. And these can range from anomaly inspections, maybe geohazard assessments, foreign line crossings, whatever types of assignments or work that you have in the field, you can create and manage that type of work here in Workforce. And there's a couple of different ways to get assignments into the system. I can manually create assignments directly from the app here. So I can choose from my assignment type dropdown. Let's say this is gonna be a bank erosion assessment and I can specify a location here on the map. Maybe it's along this creek if we've had additional flooding in the area, maybe we want to assess this particular crossing for any potential bank erosion. And then I can go ahead and assign this assignment to a specific individual. I'll go ahead and assign it to me. I'll give it a critical priority and a due date of today at 5 p.m. I can also specify a work order ID, a description, and add any attachments that might help aid this worker in the completion of this assignment. I can go in and create an assignment and you'll see a new feature gets added to the map here. I can also bulk load assignments from other systems. So if you've got a work order management system or if you're managing work in an outside system that's not necessarily ArcGIS, then you can actually import that information into our assignment schema here, either in a manual or automated fashion through one of our APIs. So once assignments have been loaded here, into our workforce project. We see them on the map, we see them on our list, but more importantly, all of these assignments, once they've been assigned, are shared with field workers to complete. And that's what we'll take a look at the mobile app here. So here on my tablet, I've got the workforce mobile app loaded up and I've signed in with one of my named users and I see only the assignments that I've been assigned. So over here on the map, I see I've got about five different outstanding assignments, and then I've got my to-do list there on the left-hand side. Workforce works offline, which means you can take all of these assignments into a disconnected area and still be able to complete and manage your work. And that revolves around a sync process. So I can go ahead and sync now or schedule an auto sync to run at a specified interval. And this will pull down any new assignments that have been assigned to me or push up any information that I've updated on my end back to the servers. So here we see I've been assigned a new assignment that gets added to my to-do list. Due at today, I can go ahead and select that assignment and I see all of the information that was just entered by the dispatcher. I can go ahead and start this assignment by changing the status and that's gonna signify that I've begun work on this particular activity. I see all of the additional information that's been added by the dispatcher. And then down here, I see our app integration that allows you to link seamlessly into other ArcGIS apps to do things like navigate to the location or collect data once you're on location. So for this particular assignment, this bank erosion assessment, we've gone ahead and automated a link to a field maps web map that will allow us to collect additional information on location. 
So once I'm at that assignment location, I can go ahead and click open in field maps and that'll launch the field maps application on my device here and zoom me to the location of that assignment. And I can see here our pipeline crossing and a creek bed there on the imagery uh, base map. So at this location, I can go ahead and either use my current location of our, if I'm out there in the field or just go ahead and click on the map and drop a pin. But I can go ahead and collect information here. This pulls up our smart form view within field maps that allows us to collect additional information about the work that's being done. So you may do this through field maps. You may create a smart form and use survey one, two, three to, to fill out this information. All of these different apps can be linked here through workforce to support the actual work that needs to be done. So in this case, we've got a geohazard assessment, and this is a uh, incident response. Let's say there's flooding in the area, and this is currently ongoing. I can collect any additional information depending on the type of information that needs to be collected by your organization. All of that can be configured here in the smart form. And then once I uh, fill out that form or finish completing it, I can go ahead and submit my results. At that point, I've collected all of the information about the work that needs to be done in the field. I can go ahead and jump back into workforce. And at this point, I'm finished with my assignment. So I can go ahead and close it out. When I do that, that moves that particular assignment from my to-do list over to my completed list. So I can actually track all of the work that I'm doing while I'm in the field. I can sort these lists a number of different ways, and I can also update my working status while I'm out in the field. So any changes that I make will be synced either automatically or manually. And once that sync occurs, that information will be pushed back to the office where other people can see that. So back here in the web app view, we see all of our assignments and we can see that assignment just completed based on the information that was synced back from the field. And I can also track the progress of all of my workers. So this information can be shared out through something like an ArcGIS dashboard. If other people in the organization want to have visibility into the workflows, uh, or I could also use this workforce application to track and monitor, monitor the status of my workers. That's all I have today. Appreciate your time. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our team. Thanks.